loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from charlie k and it's titled i convinced a dnc attendee to vote for donald trump you guys i'm excited for this and without much ado let's see what this video is all about Hey everybody, this was a discussion I had at the DNC in Chicago of a really sweet young man by the name of Arthur. Arthur had a Kamala Harris for President button, but turns out he's actually a swing voter and we had a great dialogue and I might maybe got him to reconsider and to vote for Donald Trump. Enjoy this very polite, mutually respectful discussion with Arthur from the DNC. Arthur, wherever you are, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it uh, accurately presents our conversation and he's a new Catholic which uh, gets our Catholic friends very uh, excited. And he says that is changing his politics. So never be afraid to have the tough conversations. This is a great example of a really deep one that we had at the DNC, and it might have changed his, his mind. We'll see. You be the judge. Leave a comment and subscribe to our YouTube page here. You tell me, do you think Arthur is going to vote for Trump or Kamala Harris? Enjoy. So do you vote for the person or the world view? It's a little bit of both, a little bit of both. I think the person is generally reflective of the worldview. It's important to, to understand the worldview. And if uh, the person has done actions in the past, like, you know, doing a off afterwards, that might not reflect positively on the worldview, then it's concerning to me. Um, I'd say that it's it's concerning to me that he might be using Christianity as a problem sometimes. Um, and so I, I oftentimes am ideologically at odds with the Democratic Party. But I worry about the Republican Party. What are your ideological at odds with the Democratic Sometimes, yeah. Oh, well, there's a on migration to some extent. I'd say that they need to focus more on their debt. But then again, the Republicans don't really focus on that much anymore either. Um, and um, really, especially on trade protectionism, I think Trump's very pro trade protectionism, which I do like. And I, I think the Democrats have been a little bit, you know, so a little bit, yeah. yeah. Um, but um, I would say that. The, there is some level of decency. I think that is, you know, they try to project it very much so, they try to show that they're, you know, we're good people, yada, yada, yada. But um, you don't see stories about Kamala Harris or other major Democratic candidates where it's like, um, as I said, for Trump, where he sort of, you know, didn't pay money to cover it up. And ultimately, the, the crime that he committed in that wasn't super significant, but it, the whole situation is kind of sketchy, so I don't know. I just say, how do you address that sort of concern? I mean, everyone's a flawed person. I vote for a worldview, though, not just the person. Because a worldview will outlast the person, right? It does, does, but do the actions of the person have any reflection of the worldview? I mean, we already know how the type of president he was. Which is a you guys, one thing I grasped from what Otto said is that what they are accusing Donald Trump of is not that significant yet they still kept on accusing him and and he also mentioned that other candidates do not have this kind of accusation okay them. and he also mentioned that other candidates do not have this kind of accusation against them one thing he should know is that despite the fact that these accusations on donald trump were not significant yet they blew it out of proportion there's a political agenda in order to frustrate donald trump's presidential campaign and try to stray people away from not voting for him but let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below and let's continue watching you guys I'd say that the trade war wasn't the best. I, th I wish he would have been harsher on trade. I suppose if he was going to do it, he might have all gone all the way. That's true. Um, so why are you supporting Kamala? I what would you say is her greatest totally achievement? Made up my mind. But I would say that um, there was stability to some extent on the Democrats. Now, Biden may have been a little bit you know, old, <laughs> to put it lightly. But you mean political stability? To some degree, yeah, I would say. It's like switching out a candidate like two weeks before is like stability? Stability in terms of what they uh, are advocating or demonstrating. That was a little bit unstable. That was a little bit surprising to me. And that was, yeah, honestly, that is my biggest concern with Democrats is the fact that they did kind of lie and say, oh, he's fine. So, so you might vote for Trump. Yeah, I'm Maybe. considering it, but his okay. hand is what, So, so what, 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 what does he have to do to earn your vote? I'd say that he'd have to acknowledge that he's done some sort of some kind of sketchy things in the past and 
really legitimately say you know, he's repentant for it to somebody, like something like that. Um, Honestly, I would have thought very different things in the past. I was an atheist for a long time, very progressive. Uh, I've become Catholic recently. Praise God. Um, Does that change your politics at all? Um, yes, yes, to some degree. Um, but of course, I'm still thinking of doing it. And it does concern me even more so than in the past. Um, personal actions. Yeah, that's, that's really, uh, what I was going to say. But, okay. Well, so you should think about worldview. Secondly, I mean, you can agree the Bible is full of people that have done some pretty flawed things. King David. Oh, yes, absolutely. Remember, King David, he uh, killed a man just to get after Bathsheba. I'm getting to that story that I know. Right? Samson. You know, God came to Samson when he was in the bed with a prostitute, and he's like, uh, after God's own heart. Yes. Yes. So, so you're saying there's a chance? I'm thinking about it. But yeah. Um, but you're saying worldview rather than... Person. Oh yeah, think about it. The person comes and goes, so worldview remains. Your vote is not a valentine for who you want to spend time with. Your vote is a chess move of the type of world you want to live in. But of course there's a worldview that people claim to have. But we don't have to guess. The four years of the worldview of Trump was everyone was getting richer, borders were secure, wages were going up, economy was better. There could have been maybe better handling of COVID. I, I agree. Well, I would have been on the other side. I wish we would have had less restrictions. But what, no presidency is perfect. But taking the guesswork out of it, four years with Trump, four years with Kamala, or with Biden, which one is the country? The kind of yeah, but <laughs> the country's in a better place with which one? Well, granted, there's. A, I would say that, and I think it would, it's fair to say that um, the president has a lot less control directly. Totally, the situation. I agree. But, but you do have control over the border, right? That is. You do have control over. But then again, they propose this big bill saying, you know, we'll have to give the president authority to shut down. He still has that authority in the um, You guys, what do you think about this conversation going on? between Otto and Charlie Keg. I hope that Charlie Keg was able to convince Otto into voting for Donald Trump because at this point in time, we're not talking about a president who has the best character. We're talking about a president who was able to sustain the American economy and not making the American citizens go into hardship during their regime. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up you guys. That, I mean that, that was pretty strong. Remain in Mexico you can do, you could do all, you could get rid of the CDP one app, you could do all that stuff. But border crossings were an all time low income and now we've seen huge border crossings with Biden Harris, however you want to say it. I would say that also, there were some sketchy things on the There of course there's the, the sensational like over putting kids in cages, but um, I mean, they, they could have done a better job of handling that to some extent, too. Now, just so you understand, the kids in cages started under Obama. It doesn't make it right, but it did start under Obama, right? It doesn't make it right, but it did. And the whole, the whole idea of it was that we are going to make sure that families are actually legit if you come across the border with a kid that you might be trafficking. Right. It is true, however, I do think he ch did change the law to make it so that they separate the, the parent and the child under his administration. So you're a swing book? Yes. Uh, no, the law under his administration. Okay, so I'm, on huh? I'm on the side of the Democrats. Yes. I am okay. kind of a supporter, but I, I, I'm kind what, of... Um, what, what, can we do, what can we do better to win over more people like you? <laughs> Um, I would say that, God, I, I'm kind of, a, there's not, I don't think there's a lot of people like me because I'm kind of on the conservative side of the swing, and there's, I think, more people on the progressive side of the swing, but, um, I, uh, I'd say that Trump really needs to maybe just make more public atonement for his actions, because uh, I think he often denies one, and he needs to be more prone to admit it. So, but 20 years from now, let's say he doesn't do that. If he had a successful presidency well, in that 20 years ago. You? He would. Well, no, that's what I'm saying, is that won't his policy help with him? That's true. So it doesn't matter as much about him, it matters the world that he but creates. Course, he said a lot of policies that he didn't really work to put into action once he was actually in office. No, I mean, look, no one's perfect. But he said that he would um, advocate for age limits in Congress, and he never actually did that. There's no constitutional amendment that has no process. Age limits? Or you mean term limits? Oh, I, sorry. 
term limits. You're right. No, you're correct. Term limits. Yeah, that's that's very hard to pass. To be fair. Yeah. It is very hard to pass. But that's the way I want you to think about it. And you, you say, what's your name again? Arthur. Arthur. Is that you want to think of the type of world you want to live in in 20 years? Less about the person. You depersonalize politics. They want you to overpersonalize it. It's very emotional. That is very, very feeling. It is very true. The right. Very right. Very vibes. Very it emotional. <laughs> where we're saying, hey, what are the chess moves that you, the world you want to live in in the next 20 years? Yes. Um, and I am thinking about that. I guess person does play well. Thanks, Arthur. It's very nice to meet you. God bless, man. Good luck on your journey of faith. Thanks. You guys, that was such an interesting one from Charlie Keck. And I hope Otto swings to the right party and votes rightly because he seems like a good person. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. It was a very, very respectable conversation. And I'll say kudos to Otto for being so open about how he feels towards Donald Trump and towards Kamala Harris. And after having this conversation with Charlie Kate, I believe he will know the right thing to do and the right person to vote for. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. This was very interesting and I enjoyed every minute of this video. And I believe you guys also enjoyed watching. If you did enjoy watching, give this video a massive thumbs up, comment, share and all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.